The question we are all looking for to be answered. Is Quest 3 going to save this VR situation, which has become very, very stale? Twitter VR is going wild. Everybody's kind of amped up. I have sometimes gotten some backlash because I say that Quest 3 is just going to be like a Quest 2.5 or a Quest 2 on steroids. And we'll then be able to see. There's also a lot of people that are mad that they didn't get invited to the actual meta connection situation and i see people rambling all over vr because vr has once again starting to do something that is not vastly enjoyable which is going the narrow route instead of going in depth in their actual community and those who have been grinding hard in virtual reality i have a lot of friends in this vr community and once again for some reason meta just continues to look over the aspect of go in depth in the strengths so that we could bring vr to that mainstreaming aspect no mainstream AAA games as of now we're waiting for grand theft auto we're waiting for what is it assassin's creed we're waiting for some other games ghost of tabor is single-handedly saving quest on top of contractors contractors doesn't get as much as the love because it's just your typical arena shooter fps with mods which i love though i love all the mods and contractors over there they're just such a, a beautiful organization they're my good friends online and they're they're just incredible what they're doing they have the battle royale coming around soon ghost of tabor just still being in app lab so that means it's still being developed actually not really an official game is single-handedly uh, carrying quest and that just shows the whole story of quest right now now when quest 2 was hitting its peak around after the pandemic i was excited for it I, I covered it from all the way through from like V20, V like 17 or something like that all the way through till now, which is now in the V50s. Um, but now it has really taken a huge downslide and not in the best way possible. It's real stale. We're doing a lot of one and done games. I know VR creators on YouTube are still going hard and much respect to them. For me, the interest has not been there and I had been playing Mortal Kombat anyways. I've been loving Mortal Kombat. We have a, an additional channel that talks solely about fighting games. So if you're, interested, if you're interested in fighting games, go ahead and check that out too, man. I appreciate that, fam. But VR has been in a situation where we don't know what's really going to take it to that next height. Is Quest 3 going to save us? Because when I say us, I, I love VR. I believe in VR. It's so cool to be in virtual reality. But there's two aspects as to why. One, they're just not doing anything mainstream enough. This, again, is just going to adhere to just your typical VR creators. Of course, they're going to be overhyping it because they're paid to overhype it. And then it's just going to go a one and done situation all over again. I don't necessarily know what type of VR or just whatever it's going to take to the next level. And the number two reasoning for sure is that we need to be able to simulate VR to an extent to where our audience and our viewers could actually feel what we feel. Again, at the end of the day, audiences are watching a flat screen. So no matter if you're in VR or no matter if you're just playing actually just a flat screen game, the audience is still going to see the same thing. Now, the audience will be kind of intrigued if you're using additional things when you're using VR, which is if you're using a vest, which I always get compliments on, or if you're using the treadmill, which goes above and beyond, which people are like, what the hell is this? What the shit is? If you're using next level equipment, but not everybody has this type of money to be buying all this stuff. And on top of that, it still becomes a somewhat gimmicky approach when you do all this. So VR, is Quest 3 going to be saving us? We don't know yet. Quest 3 needs to step it up with some more games. Quest 3 needs to step it up and go far more in depth. Enhance the hand tracking. We need full body somewhat, at least body estimation for, for full body tracking. And we also need to find a way where people, there should be like somewhat of a consumer headset. Like if you're going to a 3D IMAX, how you put on the glasses where it gives you a heads up. All these streaming platforms need to have like, oh, this is if you're entering a VR stream, put on like these glad, put on your own VR glasses so you can feel exactly like what they're feeling. Or it just needs to be something where the audience can really get fully immersed with us because there's no actual conclusive aspect to us feeling all this cool stuff. And then the audience sees it and it's just like us playing a shooting game or something. So there's a lot of reasoning behind that. And I think Quest 3, will it save VR in totality? Absolutely not. It needs a lot more to be able to. It'll be cool for a while. The hype will go around. I mean, we just had one of the biggest games, Mortal Kombat 1, have its early access. And it has a lot of hype and it's building all the hype. 
But again, it's still like people still kind of move on from that. It's still sporadic. So something like Quest 3, in order to go to the next level, it needs to be far less like of a friction to be able to jump into. Less like any type of external situations. We don't want to hear anything with PC this time around. Side quests, all this stuff that always needs a PC or just all these things that need to be linked. Mods that need to have a PC. We don't want to hear anything. If you're a quest user, you get a quest solely for a quest. And so therefore, it is hard to really upgrade it. But we're hoping that quest does give us that a situation that where we can finally win. Do you all think quest three will win VR? I don't know if it'll save it, but I th it, it'll help jump a little bit, but it's not going to be in the route that we really want it to be. All it is, is we're going right back into the same circle of just adhering to VR people too much, VR enthusiasts too much. And we're not giving back to a consumer, a mainstream audience that is new to this type of technology. And that that's where it's really going to hurt us. Now, there's a route that they do that is right, right? There's It's affordable. That's a great way to go. And so they stopped at that pinpoint quest made it affordable and then after that there was just nothing really to get like mainstream to really jump in and so we got to keep figuring it out but y'all gotta let me know y'all think quest 3 will save it uh leave some comments in the comment section below i appreciate y'all peace